Let's program and be creative. It's time for MIT App Inventor. All right, so let's go ahead and design out our animal record screen. First thing we want to do is update our properties for our screen. So for me, align horizontal left I always like to do center and right now top is okay but I also I'm just gonna try centered again use your preferences for the background color I'm gonna leave it default because I want to use the same background image we used before so I'm gonna click on that and it's already here I'm gonna select tree of life and there you go and then I don't like the animal record at the very top for all my students make sure you type in your name Amy Gantz, Animal Park, and this is Record Animals. So there you go. And then now let's look at examples of the actual app. Here is the example of what it will look like. I'm gonna open up that image and that image in a new page. You can see we've completed that and now we're working on this. So we have this, we're gonna to need to put a image at the top, a label, two buttons or images, and then three buttons or images inside of a horizontal arrangement at the very bottom. All right, so let's get started. The very top, again, you can do either or, a button or an image. I'm just going to do an image. That image, I'm gonna call it IMG Home. You always wanna have a way to get home, to your home screen. I'm gonna make that image clickable. I'm gonna make the height something like Let's say right now 50 pixels by 50 pixels and we already have a home icon so I'm going to use that same exact one and don't worry that it's in the center remember I changed it to center as we add content it will push it up and center all the content so we have that next thing we need to do is have this label and we're just going to say record your animal video or sounds below so that is a label right here in my user interface. I'm gonna rename it LBL for label, user info. I'm gonna keep it kind of the same color. I'm gonna select the background color of yellow. The message was record your animal video or sounds below. If we look back here, it should go all the way across the screen. I have it red, bold, and italics. So text color is right here. I'm gonna select red, make it bold and italics. But now I want it to go all the way across the screen. So that is the width, like width. And here, we've talked about this before. There's a couple different ways to do it. Normally when you're programming, there's a bunch of ways to do it. You can see I can select field parent. There's pixels or percent. So automatic means be as big as you need to be. That is currently this big because it covers the amount of text that I typed. If I want to go all the way across the screen, I could say, 100% because that's all the way across the screen. But also you need to look at your components. This is built on a parent-child hierarchy. Animal record is the screen, that is the parent. So everything is embedded inside of the parent, which is animal record. You can see if I close this, it hides everything. So if I go back to label, yes, I could use 100% or I can do fill parent. When I say fill parent, it looks at its parent, which is currently animal record and it's gonna go, it's gonna fill all of the space for the parent. So let me go back to automatic first so you can see this. And then now if I change this to fill parent, you can see it's filling the parent. The parent is actually animal record. Now also I want this text centered. So now I'm going to select text alignment and center. And there we go. Then I have two more images, three more images inside of a horizontal arrangement. Now these images we need to get, and we get that from our class page. So at the very top, you can see here, I give you all these images. I give you the BTN home if you don't like your current one and you wanted to use the one, but you don't have to. So I'm gonna open this up and we're gonna download each one of these images. So again, I'm gonna first have this image that says record, this image that's a microphone record, and then these three buttons. So again, you could do buttons or images. I'm just gonna do images. And I'm gonna grab in, let's show you the difference. I'm gonna grab an image for 
my first one, I'm gonna grab a button for the second one. Same difference. So this one, I'm just gonna rename IMG record video. I'm going to make sure that I make it clickable. If I do not, it will not work when I try to click it. So just to show you that, I'm going to leave that unclicked right now. I'm gonna click on picture. I have not uploaded this media, so I'm gonna do upload file. I'm going to upload this stuff. So here is my record video. And you can see that's way too big. So I'm just gonna resize it. Let's just say, let's try 120, 125 pixels, not percent. And the same thing for the, for the height and for the width, 125 pixels. And underneath it, I have a button. I'm gonna do BTN record sound. And I'm gonna do the same thing. And you can see the difference. The image has less properties. It has these, a button has a bunch of more properties that you can do. So for this, again, my image to upload it. This is BTN record sound. And I'm gonna make it the same, 125 pixels for the height and width. So there we go. But let's check our design. So I have this record on top of the image here and record on top of the image here. Well, let's look at this. If I have an image, there's no place to actually put in text. But if I have a button, there is a place to put in text. So let me just show you. I can type record here. So then I change the text color to yellow and maybe I make it bold and let's make it 16. So here's one difference. If you have an image and you wanna put text on top of that image, you wanna use a button. If you don't have text on top and you just, you're doing the button functionality, you can just simply use an image. So I've showed you here, use an image and a button, but because we're putting text on top of this image, I'm gonna actually delete my image. I'm gonna drag in the button. This is gonna be BTN record video. I'm going to make the image my button record video. I'm gonna make the height and the width 125 pixels. I'm going to change this to record to update the color. I'm gonna make it bold. I'm gonna make it 16. And there you go. So now this matches this. So that shows you the difference between an image, which is up here. This is actually an image that is clickable. We made that right there. And a button. I am putting text top of my image and you can see that right here inside of the text. What do we have left? We have this horizontal arrangement at the bottom which has three buttons inside of it and I can use either or an image or a button but because I'm not using text I'm going to just simply do images here. So I'm going to drag in three images. One, two, three. And this one is going to be, it is play, stop, pause, maybe IMG play. I'm going to go to my pictures. I'm going to upload the play. It's super big. Let's make it 50 pixels by 50 pixels. That works for me. Now we have an issue here. Like I can't see this guy. Like where is he? Well, I want to scroll, but I can't scroll. So how do I get to see these guys and, and scroll down? Remember in App Inventor, you have to tell the computer exactly what you want to do. So if I want to scroll on a screen, I need to select the screen, and then right here, I need to make it scrollable. So now you can see I can scroll down, and so I can see that picture. So this is gonna be IMG stop. I'm going to upload the picture. Way too big, the height is gonna be 50 pixels. The width would be the same. Scroll down, I'll do my last one. IMG pause. My height, I know it's gonna be 50. My width, I know it's gonna be 50. The picture I'm going to upload, that's gonna be the pause. So there we have it. Now, I don't want this to be like right on the right side, like it's not working. So if you look, like, why is it not working? I want pause to be over here and it's just switching. So again, in App Inventor, anytime you want to do something, you have to add in a component and tell the computer exactly what you want to do. So if I want to horizontal align this, I need to look at my palette for something that allows me to change the layout. So if you're looking, 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 you can see right here is layout, left layout. I want it horizontal, 
So there's two forms, horizontal arrangement and horizontal scroll arrangement. We're going to use a horizontal scroll arrangement in the next part of our Animal Park app called Animal Draw, where we're going to have a horizontal scroll arrangement with a bunch of colors that you can scroll through to select to draw whatever animal you want. But for now, we're going to use the horizontal arrangement. And I'm just going to drag these on top of each other inside of here. And then I can rearrange them however I want inside of there. If that gray is bothering you behind for the horizontal arrangement, you can see it says background colors default, which is nothing. Over here, you can see it shows up as nothing, um, but you can just simply do none, and then there you go. So you would think we are done, but actually, if you look at it, we are done visually. But how are we going to record sound? And how are we going to record audio? All we have is buttons and images here. We don't have any media. And how are we going to play the video that once we record it? And we always speak to our user. We haven't added text-to-speech. So even though it looks visually done, we have to add some non-visible components. So on the left side, again, in our palette, we need to look for the things we need. We need some media. Right here is media. First thing we will add is our text-to-speech. We will talk to our user. To be able to record video, we need a camcorder. So you can see media camcorders right here. I'm going to drag that. And you can see all these components I'm adding are coming. They're non-visible. They're not going to show up on the screen, but we need them in order to program with them the functionality that we need. In order to record sounds, I need a sound recorder. I'm just going to drag that in. And in order to play back the sound after we recorded it, I'm going to need a player. I'm going to drag that in. But what about our camcorder? So I can record using a camcorder, but what I'm going to play it back in, well, we need this, a video player. So I'm going to drag that in. So the video player you can see is actually a visual component. So what will happen is when we press the record button, we'll record some video, we'll put the video inside of this video player, and they can play it there. And for our button record audio, once we record the audio, we'll put it in the player and we'll use these three buttons to actually play this player. So this looks good. But when someone first comes to our screen, should we see the video player? And should we see these button images? We haven't recorded any video yet. We haven't recorded any sound. So why are we seeing these things? We shouldn't see these things. So all I'm gonna do is simply click on my video player. I can look at my properties. It does not have a lot of properties. Height, width, source, which is the video. After we record, we're gonna put that, we're gonna update that in code. But it does have a visible. So I'm gonna change visible to turn it off. And now you can see it got rid of, I can turn it back on so you can see. It shows up, it turns it off, it hides it. So the same thing for these guys down here. We have not recorded any any audio yet so i don't want to show these well i don't really want to go and record turn off the visible for each one of these these three image buttons are inside of horizontal arrangement so if i select horizontal arrangement i actually can turn off the visible property here and you can see there it is i turn it on i can turn it off so it's off for now, but in code, once we record some sound, we will simply turn this on. I'm actually gonna rename this horizontal arrangement. I'm just gonna call it H-A-R-R -R for arrangement. And this is the audio playback buttons. Just a, a more descriptive name. So this is a horizontal arrangement of my audio playback buttons, which are these guys. And with that, we are actually done. In the next video, we will go ahead and code how to make this work.